Good morning, volunteers. I'm Zane. And I'm Jacob. And welcome back to another episode of Lee TV. Today we're going to be taking a look at sports, our mariachi band, looking back at Liesta, and getting to know some more information about homecoming. So let's get started. As you may know, Homecoming is coming up next Saturday, October 22nd. We spoke with Student Council about how they've been preparing for the event. Uh, student Council is currently making Homecoming posters you may see around the school. We're also currently looking at decorations for the Homecoming. We are preparing for the Homecoming dance by just talking about what's going to be there, what, are, what things we're going to purchase, so that it really looks good and we can really pull this off. We made sure everyone's opinions were heard. We asked every members like their opinions on decorations, music, the themes, making checklists. The theme under the neon lights will include glow in the dark features and just neon lights everywhere. Homecoming also features a spirit week where on each day of next week students and staff can dress up to show their school spirit. Spirit week is a way to get the school together in order to celebrate the homecoming spirit that it, of the high school. Monday is Jersey Day, Tuesday is Soccer Mom versus Barbecue Dads, Wednesday is Decades Day, Thursday is Adam Sandler Day, and Friday is Lee Spirit Theme. So what information do you need to know in order to take part in the fun next weekend? The homecoming dance is at Blossom Athletic Center in the Littleton Gym. You can buy the homecoming tickets on October 3rd um, during all lunches where there will be $20 and they will increase in price on October 17th. Uh, the tickets will be sold at the school store Monday, Wednesday, and Friday during all three lunches. When you purchase your homecoming ticket, you are going to receive this wristband and that will be your ticket into the homecoming dance. I would recommend students to come to homecoming mostly because it's an experience, it's a very wonderful high school experience. I've personally never been to homecoming, so I'm really excited to attend this year. Student Council invites you to all of our homecoming festivities beginning Monday, October 17th through Friday, October 21st. We'll be celebrating Homecoming Spirit Week. Please dress up in theme. Then on Friday morning, we'll have our homecoming pep rally at 8 a.m. in the Lee Gym. Then Friday night, we'll be at Kamalander Stadium where we're, we'll announce our homecoming court winners during halftime. And then Saturday, October 22nd, we'll have our homecoming dance from 7 to 10 p.m. at Littleton Gym. Students, off-campus guests are allowed at the homecoming dance, but you must have one of these forms approved by an administrator. Please pick up one of these forms for your off-campus guests from the Lee main office or the ISA main office. Scan this QR code to request a song for the homecoming dance. That sounds awesome. You know what else sounds awesome, Jacob? Lee's Mariachi Band. You know, I heard them at Liesta and they sounded really good. Yeah, they play all around the city. They even played at a San Antonio football club game match a few weeks ago. So let's take a look. We went to one of the Lee Mariachi Band's rehearsals last week and spoke to them about what they love about mariachi music. Mariachi music, to me, it's a big part of my culture as um, I am Mexican-American and um, I come from, both my parents' side are Mexican and it goes on beyond that. And my, uh, my grandparents are just immigrated here from Mexico and they brought a huge part of their culture to my parents and they're teaching that to me and I kind of want to carry that on at school and at home. I play violin and guitar and I think it's a way to express myself and 
uh, my culture and it's it's something very special um well like Sama said it's like it's part of my culture because I am Mexican I'm like more Hispanic and it's like it's one thing to listen to it and it's another thing to play it so it's like I joined because I just thought it would be a fun thing to do and I ended up like falling in love with it How do they prepare for all of these performances? Well, we play at school in the morning uh, every Monday through Friday, and we have most of the time we play Mondays to Tuesdays after school for an hour, and we even have more people than we have in class from last year and the year before, and we kind of, I think there's about um, more than 20 people, and we all come in here and play um, about seven different songs so that we can play them perfectly um, on our performances. This year we've had a few notable performances like playing at a soccer stadium twice back to back on a Saturday and there were a lot of people there and a lot of people were nervous because it was their first time but um, we're just there to play and kind of bring happiness to everyone that hears our music. And this year we've done um, some elementary schools. We did a middle school for Hispanic Heritage Month and then we did the San Antonio soccer games and we have some really cool ones coming up like the rodeo next year in February. Just we get out there and do our thing. Welcome to the Chinese Culture Club. Today, we're going to learn how to count from numbers 1 to 10 in Mandarin Chinese. If you want to learn more about Chinese culture and language, then come join the Chinese Culture Club. It is completely free. There is no dues to pay. And in fact, if you come to three of our monthly meetings, you get a free t-shirt. If you want to come and stop by, then come to room 206, which is on the second floor of the ISA building, and come get a free hall pass. Our next meeting will be held on Thursday, October 27th at 8.15 a.m. I hope to see you there. Hello, my name is Javier Drake. I'm with the club I Am Second. We meet every Wednesday afternoon and every Thursday morning to discuss certain passages that we read, and we also watch videos. If you're just interested in learning about other perspectives from people, come and have a conversation with us. Hi, Lee High School. I'm Sahara, and I'm part of the I Am Second group. In I Am Second, we watch inspirational videos, talk about the Bible, and have relevant discussions. We also have snacks and food and everybody is welcome. We meet after school Wednesdays 420 to 5 p.m. in Mrs. Taylor's room M208 and before school Thursday 8 o'clock to 840 in Mr. Gonzalez's room in M209. I really like it. Good to see you in I am second. Go balls. Bienvenidos al Club de Español. Refreshments will be provided at the meeting. We will have snacks, drinks, and candies from the Tari culture. Um, please arrive on time because it's at a first come, first serve basis. So um, if you want to try a snack from the Tari culture, please come by and stay for the meeting. We will also hold our officer elections. We hope that you're able to attend. We meet every other Thursday. Our next meeting will be on October 13th. Seniors, I'm Ms. Montero. I'm the college advisor for the 22-23 school year. I'm Mrs. Shram. I'm the CCMR for Lee. And we have a couple announcements for especially seniors coming up. We do have FAFSA applications are now open. So if you are interested in going to college, make sure you get your FAFSA or TASPA application in uh, before February so you can meet those priority deadlines. Colleges are coming to the school to visit. So if you're interested in talking to any of the representatives that are here on campus, please um, join us in the perk. I do realize that UT didn't show up, but we are working to get them back here soon. 
And also, if you are interested in visiting colleges, make sure you stop by the Career Center to pick up a college visitation form. You get it signed by your tour guide and turn it into the attendance office. The Bear County Clearinghouse Scholarship is now open. Um, this is a one application for lots of different scholarships that are out there. The deadline for that is October 28th, so please make sure you get that turned in on time. If you have any questions about your post-secondary decisions, either going to college or working on your resume, um, please stop by the Career Center to meet with me if you have any questions. Also, don't forget to go to schoolcafe.com, sign up for the free or reduced lunch application so that you can get discounts on AP testing. You can get free waivers for SAT on Saturdays and ACTs on Saturdays. Um, the, speaking of AP testing, the um, payment window for that opens up this Wednesday. You can pay by credit card through your Skyward account, not the Family Access account, through November 11th. Please come and see us if you need anything. <laughs>
My favorite part, because I'm old, is that it's free. Um, no, really my favorite part is that the community is coming together and we're able to do a bunch of fellowship and get to know each other a little bit more. What's your favorite part about a football game overall? Oh, my favorite part about Leaf football is the fact that we've always rallied from behind no matter what is happening. Our spirit, the Lee volunteer spirit, is just so strong and being at a game makes me just feel like I'm back in high school. <laughs>
you gonna do here, Aliesa? I'm going to march in the parade because I'm in band. Are you gonna eat any food here? Probably. Okay, we're done. That's all for this week. We hope you have a great and safe Halloween. And that you're starting off this second nine weeks strong. And remember, there's nothing stronger than the heart of a volunteer. volunteer.